So Nick, we've had another month, uh, five matches in October, and it started all the way back against Hibernian Reserves in Scotland. What was the, uh, was that trip seen as a, a real positive? <coughs> yeah, I think so. Um, I think we were, you know, we're disappointed to lose our second game, but um, performances all around were pretty good. And uh, yeah, we've done well in the first game that we won. So yeah, that was a, that was a good trip for us as a group. Just on that, that Hibs game, obviously uh, you're 3-0 down. Well, I, knew, so, um, yeah. I guess it shows great character and there's a, there's a real togetherness in this team, isn't there? Yeah, there definitely is. It, I mean, there's a lot of good, strong characters in this team. We sort of pulled everyone together and sort of tried to fight our way back uh, from from that game. So, yeah. Obviously, then we had the international break where a few players went away. Is it quite a good time if you're not away with an international team to, to work on specific parts of your game? Can you talk us through how that kind of works? Yeah, so you obviously you've got a smaller group, so it's sort of more detailed onto you and your sort of individual part uh, that you want to improve on. So there's good opportunity with that, with the coaching staff as well, um, to just sort of really pinpoint you know the weak points of your game to try and improve during that period, yeah. It's probably a bit of a breather as well because it's quite a busy fixture, this, isn't it? Yeah, there's uh, constantly games all the time, so it's nice to sort of have a week just to really sort of look back at yourself and sort of really analyse and think, okay, where can I go? Where can I do uh, improve from here? Obviously, one of the, the standout results was that 8 1 mm -hmm. victory over FFD TV Academy. Um, it was a good opportunity for those international players to come back just to kind of get some momentum going again, wasn't it? How pleased were you all with that result? Yeah, we were buzzing. Um, I think we sort of looked more at ourselves uh, rather than the opposition um, and analyse how we can improve from that game still. But um, yeah, we were really pleased in how we started the game and, and sort of continued it throughout, throughout the whole game. You must be pleased the amount of goals we're scoring though, because yeah. obviously that is obviously six against Bromley as well. Yeah, you want to be scoring goals. So, yeah. so um, And then obviously we had the Reading match, which you, which you weren't a part of. We then went to Hamwell. Can you talk us through the experience at Hamwell? Because it was quite a game, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was, it was tense towards the end. Uh, ten men, 2-2, two, two, sort of holding on. Um, felt like we could have we could have won it as well still. But um, yeah, that's a great experience as, as a young player. Because obviously you get that experience against academy sides like mm. Reading. You play against Bromley, but coming up against those, those men's sides is really going to stand you a good stead going forward, isn't it? Yeah, I think, you know, always playing against different opponents, playing against men, uh, whether it's younger, you know, uh, teenagers or whoever it is, every game's different, so you can always sort of, you know, sort of learn from, from each one. Is it different in that when you do those cup games, there's a bit more on the line in terms of you wanting to progress? I think so, yeah, there's, you know, the, there's a trophy, you know, at the end waiting, and, you know, everyone sort of, it gives you that extra little push to really, really want to win. Um, so, yeah, I think it does a bit. So it's coming up against men's side as well, it not only helps it to you mentally, but also physically as well, because it's, it's, a, it's a real battle, isn't it? Yeah. Especially in those sort yeah. of conditions. It's a proper well. fight, it's a proper fight. So everyone has to dig in, um, you know, and sort of really, really go after it in games like that. Must have been satisfying as well, because uh, a couple of early goals conceded, but to come back again, we, we mentioned earlier about the team yeah. and his character. Would you say so again? Yeah, I think, that, like I said before, there's a lot of good, strong characters in the group. And, you know, after you know, not having the best of starts, we sort of pulled everyone together and we bounced back you know, really well and ended up winning that game, which we deserved. Obviously, last time out, 6-2, went over Bromley at Jersey Road. Does it feel like the team has got some real momentum and positivity behind it at the moment? Yeah, I think so. I think you know a key part of developing is winning. You know, and if you continue to win, that sort of great momentum to keep to keep pushing off. So yeah, it's good. And just on yourself, how do you feel things have gone for you for you individually? Yeah, I'm pleased with how things are going. I'm I'm happy, but I'm you know never satisfied with you know with myself. So I think there's a lot more work that needs to be done. But I'm pleased with how the last few months have gone. Because you like getting forward as well. Is there a certain part of the game you feel you, you want to work on a bit more? Maybe you, uh, so, you, know, you know, I put a lot of uh, extra work on, on my crossing and my heading at the minute. Those are sort of the main you know, uh, technical parts of my game that I'm looking to improve. And you, you played a bit further forward against Bromley as well. There's yeah. a few shots, a few good saves from the keeper. Did yeah, you? It was, I went back to my roots, my 12 year old roots, uh, playing as a left winger. But um, no, I enjoy that game. I think it's nice to. To play in different positions and you know show the coaches that I'm I'm adaptable. How important is that to be adaptable? I suppose if you if you can show you can play different positions, you when your coach is looking for for someone to feel that mm. more, you can step in, kind of. Yeah, I think it's very important. And uh, what sort of things are you aiming to achieve in the coming weeks? Is it all about kind of game time? 
I think it's a mixture of everything, winning, um, you know, working on those parts of my game that I, that I want to improve um, and sort of keeping that momentum and always always looking to improve. It certainly looks like the coaches like Neil and Sam, they, they certainly won't let you rest. It's, no, they're, they're, they're very not. on you, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're, they're top coaches and uh, you know they want the best for us and they want us to always improve, which is perfect. And then on the horizon, obviously, that the team flies to, to Spain on Sunday. Mm-hmm. I guess that highlights the model and the fact that, again, you're going to be coming up against very different opponents. Yeah. So what, what are you kind of expecting? I know you can't expect we, too much, can you? No, you can't, but, you know, the traditional Spanish, uh, you know, technical players. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a different test to, to the past sort of few weeks, but uh, we're looking forward to it. How do you think that would benefit you coming up against a team that, that obviously will, will most likely keep the ball quite well? Well, I think you know we got a strong press, so I think um, you know hopefully they'll be worried about us. Um, I think we'll go in strong. We'll we'll be confident. You know we've got a lot of good technical players here as well, um, and I think we'll match them. If not, we should you know be better than them. So yeah, it'll be a good test. Though.